everyone, and welcome to the Weekly Rewind presented by Attractions Magazine. This installment is for December 15th, 2014. I'm your host, Nick Russo. Let's go ahead and begin last Monday, which was December 8th, 2014. Now, we were in attendance at this year's Disney Parks Frozen Christmas Celebration taping right before the very first performance. The very first performer for the taping was Ariana Grande, and before the actual performance, there was a rehearsal, of course. She sang the song, Santa Tell Me. The very next performer was Lexi Mae Walker, who sang Let It Go from Frozen. And Prince Royce was also on the roster, singing Feliz Navidad. Coming to the very next day, December 9th, this was yet another day of taping for the Christmas celebration at the Magic Kingdom. In fact, it was the very last day. This is what the huge crowd looked like out front waiting to get into the taping. Taping on this day began with a Star Wars segment that was taking place in Liberty Square. Tim Tebow, one of the celebration's hosts, was atop one of the Star Wars floats. And several audience reaction shots were captured to coincide with the special effects that will be taking place during the parade's finale portion. This is what Ada and Elsa's castle float look like. The actual coach from the upcoming live-action Cinderella movie made an appearance. And Hero and Baymax from Big Hero 6 made their very first parade debut as well. Now this was just a taste of what our Twitter feed features from the Christmas celebration taping, so be sure to check it out for yourself to see the rest of the photos and videos. Alright, coming to December 10th, 2014, we were at the official grand opening of the Cowfish at Universal City Walk, where we shared some very unique treats, including this buffaloes and bacon drink, which combines bourbon whiskey, cherry liqueur, and bitters, all garnished with a piece of candied bacon. We also shared these very decadent-looking milkshakes, some of which are alcoholic or spiked, as the cowfish calls them. Coming to the next day, December 12th, Universal Orlando announced a special offer which provides a third Coca-Cola Freestyle Souvenir Cup for free when two are purchased at full price. Magic City Mayhem shared that the Auntie Anne's pretzel booth on Universal City Walk had officially opened for business. Also from City Walk later that night, a Q&A session with the cast of Every Which Way on Nickelodeon was being held. Other festivities pertaining to the hit TV show included special screenings throughout the park. On December 13th, it was announced that a shooting attraction called Machine Gun America will be opening in Kissimmee on December 20th. The attraction offers several shooting scenarios and insists that it is not a gun range as guests cannot bring their own firearms. BioReconstruct shared that theming was moving along nicely at the Magic Kingdom hub construction site as brand new light poles were added to the area. And finally, coming to our last day, December 14th, BioReconstruct also shared with us that despite it closing in September, Catastrophe Canyon of the Backlot Tour at Hollywood Studios seemed untouched and no obvious demolition has begun to the area. All right, everyone, thank you so much for sticking with us for this installment of the Weekly Rewind for December 15th, 2014. I'm your host, Nick Russo, and until next time, have fun, guys. Bye.